Howdy folks. In this video, we're going to be looking at doing some bulk column renaming using a function in M. This isn't so much uh, an instructional video as a how to use a code that I've already written video, but hopefully you will like it and it will save you some time. So let's go ahead and look at our problem. So if I head over here to home, in fact, I'm going to use the cool keyboard shortcuts to do this. I'm going to do Alt, H, and Q for queries and hit edit queries, right? So I'm going to go look at my queries. And right here, I've got uh, one query for dim customer. Let me enable the load, right? And, uh, you know, it, this is pretty boilerplate stuff. But if you'll notice, uh, the default column names for this query is, you know, customer key, geography key, and there's no spaces between words. And what we would like to do is have spaces between words without having to go through and one by one um, adjust these things. That's going to be a big pain in the butt. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to use a tool to do that. Now, that tool... Uh, would take a long time to write here on the video, but I've already got it done. And it's right here. It's my CSG Pro bulk column rename tool. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to double click on this guy to open it up, right? Then I'm going to come over here uh, to Power Query and I'm going to do Alt, H, and N to create a new query. Use the up arrow twice to go to blank query and hit enter for blank query. Okay. Then I'm going to do Alt, H, and Q to go to the advanced editor. I'm going to hit tab one time just to move my cursor there into focus on the editor. I'm going to hit control A uh, to select everything and hit delete because we don't want that stuff. We want all the stuff that I've got written. So I'm going to alt tab back over to notepad, right? I'm going to control A to pick everything up. Controls, uh, control A to select everything. Control C to pick it up. Alt tab back to my advanced editor. Hit control V to paste it. By the way, you could do all this stuff with the mouse. I'm just really happy with these new hotkeys you've got. Um, and so now we've got the uh, the code here in our query, right? And so I'm just going to do uh, shift tab, I think, twice to get to done. Oh, I can't find it. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, let's see, where's my cursor? I'm just going to go ahead and hit done. There's a way to do that with tab, but sometimes I just use the mouse. Okay, so we've got our function here. I'm just going to rename. I'm going to rename this from query one to uh, function clean query name or clean table name names whatever you want to call it, right? Then all we have to do is, uh, we've got this drop down here. Uh, you might think, oh, I'm going to uh, add a step here and apply the function to that step. Uh, no, what we're actually going to do is this this uh, function that I wrote is going to actually write code for us um, because what we're going to want to do is oftentimes when we rename these things, we're going to make little adjustments ourselves, and that's this is going to make that very easy, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to click here on our drop down and select one of the tables that we want to clean the names of like dim customer right there. I'm just going to hit the invoke button. And when I do, it creates this uh, invocation of the query for me that generates this text string, right? And this is basically the bulk of the code that I'm going to need to do a rename of, uh, of that table. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all this, control C to just scoop it up, head over to dim customers. And I'm going to uh, pick a name, any name, doesn't really matter. Let's do first name. And I'm just going to uh, type in some garbage in there. I don't really care about that. What I care about what I care about is um, the uh, code that it's going to write for me, right? In fact, I don't even need to do that. So, well, let's go back and do it the right way. So you can do it that way, a way that's frankly even easier. Let's just insert a step at the end. All we really want is the name of the last step, right? Which is what this is going to give us right here. So with that, what we can do, let me uh, hit the little carrot to give us some space here. I'm just going to uh, shift enter and hit control V to paste the code that was generated. And now all I have to do is take this DBO customer, hit Control X to copy it, hit delete to give, put this all in the first line. And that reference to the last step, I'm going to paste it over this thing where it says your last step name goes here, right? So we're going to say, hey, go get the, uh, the step DBO customer, this navigation step, and uh, apply uh, these uh, column name changes. And they'll all be done just like this. And uh, when I hit enter, I mean, A, you'll see that it does it. And well, boy, that's really fast. The other nice thing about doing it this way is, first off, it should um, fold, right? So if you care about query folding, rather than using an M function, which just sort of by definition won't fold most of the time, um, this folds uh, very nicely. Also, uh, because it's uh, done this way, if you want to make any changes, uh, like let's say anything that has the word key in it, you want to just manually adjust it, or you want to, I don't know what you want to do, y you can make changes sort of on an ad hoc basis you know, wherever you want to. And it, it's just like very, very easy to do, which would be trickier to do if you were to try and like push that logic all the way into a function. Okay, well, uh, that's as uh, hard as it gets, right? 
uh, but it's a, a pretty nice tool and hopefully this will save you a lot of time. Oh, by the way, when you're done with this, uh, because all we generated was that code, you, you can keep the function if you want to. Uh, you can actually just delete it if you're only gonna do it the one time, right? You could do it on a different table if you wanted to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and have to delete this guy first, which we don't need, right? Because all we needed was the code, which we've already stolen, right? And then I can go ahead and delete this guy. And it says, hey, are you sure? And yes, I'm sure. And just like that, we've cleaned up our uh, column names. Everything folds really nicely. And if we wanna make adjustments, we've got this nice, nicely formatted code down, code down here to make adjustments on. Okay, well, I do hope that was helpful and I will see you next video.